Hello everyone, in this video, I will share some knowledge about InfiniBand, IB, networks and Ethernet networks. IB networks are primarily used in the high-performance computing, HPC, domain, while Ethernet, or IP networks, are the most widely encountered in various fields. Today, I will provide an overview of these two network technologies, covering the following key aspects. Positioning of the two technologies. Current state of bandwidth development. Communication latency and advantages. Reliability design differences. Network topology design. Analogical comparisons of their working principles. First, let's look at the positioning. Ethernet is the most widely applied and mature network interconnection technology, serving as the foundation of the Internet and various industry-wide information systems. It boasts excellent compatibility, enabling seamless communication between diverse systems. In contrast, InfiniBand networks have a very specialized focus. The key characteristics are high bandwidth, low latency, and high reliability. InfiniBand Interconnect technology is primarily utilized in the HPC domain. However, with the growing prominence of AI and its demanding network communication requirements, InfiniBand networks have also found extensive applications in this field. Regarding bandwidth, the current market-leading InfiniBand products are Mellanox's HDR and NDR switches, capable of providing up to 200 gigabits per second per port. On the Ethernet side, the speed options have become increasingly diverse, ranging from Gigabit Ethernet to 10G, 100G, 200G, 400G, 800G, and even 1.6T. When it comes to communication latency, InfiniBand networks leverage the RDMA technology, allowing network cards to forward packets without involving the CPU. This results in a write-send latency of around 600 nanoseconds, whereas TCP UDP applications over Ethernet typically experience a latency of around 10 microseconds, a difference of over an order of magnitude. Additionally, InfiniBand switches employ a simple two-layer architecture and utilize cut-through technology to further reduce the forwarding latency to below 100 nanoseconds, significantly outperforming Ethernet switches. In terms of reliability, the HPC domain has stringent requirements for overall system performance and reliability. InfiniBand networks ensure lossless transmission at the protocol level, with end-to-end -end flow control mechanisms governing the sending and receiving of packets. Ethernet-based networks, on the other hand, lack a scheduling-based flow control mechanism, leading to the risk of packet loss when congestion occurs at the receiving end, often necessitating the use of additional buffering to improve performance. Regarding network topology design, Ethernet networks typically utilize a three-layer architecture involving core switches, aggregation switches, and access switches, relying on IP and ARP protocols to maintain the MAC address tables. In contrast, InfiniBand networks employ a two-layer design, leveraging a factory architecture to enable large-scale, non-blocking network deployments without the need for concepts like VLANs, Reuters, or gateways, thereby ensuring lower latency. Finally, an analogy can be drawn to illustrate the differences in their working principles. Ethernet can be likened to a parcel delivery network, where each independent courier hub, switch router, sorts and delivers packages according to a set of recognized rules, network protocols. InfiniBand, on the other hand, can be compared to a metro rail transit system, focused on rapid, low latency, transportation, where the journey through each station is brief and meticulously planned in advance, with detailed knowledge of the entire route. In conclusion, these two network technologies, Ethernet and InfiniBand, of distinct positioning, capabilities, and design approaches catering to different application domains and requirements. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.